What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. Before I begin today's video, let me just say, Happy New Year everybody. With that out of the way, today's video, I'm starting off the year strong. I'm taking it back to the 16-bit era to take a look at Top Gear for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This game is a fast-paced, no-thrills racing simulator. It was developed by Gremlin Graphics and published by Kemco with a North American release of April 16, 1992. The creators of Top Gear and its sequels, Top Gear 2 and Top Gear 3000, also worked on the Lotus series, which appeared on Atari and Sega Mega Drive. One quick note that you should know about Top Gear, it is a very, very early SNES title, so keep that in mind as we continue on with the video. The real question you're probably wondering though, well, how does it play? I'll get to that question in just a moment. First, when you begin the game, you're given a variety of different options, and if you choose to, you can go into the Grand Prix or Circuit mode, where you get to choose from one of four cars, automatic or manual transmission, and then choose the country that you want to play in. The object is clear through all the levels with the, and be the absolute fastest. You just want to leave everybody in the dust. You do this by using three nitros that you have in every single race as well as a gas gauge and proper refueling timing. If you refuel too late in a race, your opponents will just completely leave you in their dust. Or vice versa, if you refuel too early, you could just completely peter out. However, if you time it perfectly, you could peter out of gas right on the finish line. And if you ever manage to pull this off, oh, it's just absolutely awesome. Another popular racing game for the SNES was F-Zero, and this game has a gas gauge, which is different from the F-Zero damage meter. Personally, I think this one has a little bit more element of strategy than the F-Zero games. It's not much to say about the controls for Top Gear. If you played any other racing game on the 16-bit era, such as, like, say, Mario Kart or like I just mentioned, F-Zero, you'll do just fine. One thing to note, however, is there two are minor inconveniences? Yeah, more like annoyances in this game. The first is that this game is always split screen. So when you're playing by yourself, the computer AI is in the bottom screen. It can take a little bit to get used to after a while when you're playing the game. But sometimes it's kind of cool while you're trying to race through to see what your opponent's doing or where they are in the race and try to outmaneuver them or outpace them. The second minor inconvenience is when you're going through a course with a lot of tight turns, the sound of screeching tires can get really obnoxious really quick. It's just, it's grating. Now, speaking of sound, however, this soundtrack in this game, oh, it's just absolutely fantastic. In fact, I'll leave a pin down in a comic for you guys. And if you want to, you can check it out for yourself. It's only about 25 minutes and I think like 16 seconds or so long. Now I know when it comes to the SNES, there's plenty of great games with great soundtracks, such as like, you know, say, uh, the Final Fantasy series or, you know, the original Donkey Kong. Just first two off my head, but this one's definitely good and worth enjoying. So, overall, is this game worth picking up today? Or playing on an emulator? Absolutely. Dare I even call it a hidden gem? Well, considering that just the other day when I was at the game store, I saw it for five dollars just sitting there ready for anyone to pick it up yeah i would say i think it's actually a hidden gem most people when they think of the super nintendo they think and want to play a racing game they either play rock in roll racing which is also a fun game and one that i'll review later on down the line 
or uh, the obvious Mario Kart or F-Zero. But for the price of this game and the awesome soundtrack, you can't go wrong. Now, if you're brand new here and you enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll consider giving me a subscribe. And as I just said, if you enjoyed this video specifically, feel free to leave me a like, comment, and a share. If there's something you want to see me talk about in the near future, go ahead and let me know down below and I'll see what I can do. Until then, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, everybody. Peace. Let me also just say, this night level is pretty cool. <laughs>